broadcast is live. We're live and standing by. I see the live counter on. Oh, yeah. Right. Yep. Let that run for a couple minutes. Give people a chance. Drink some more coffee. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Kashif, you are muted at the moment. There we go. Okay, cool. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Uh, this is Kashif Hussain, uh, and you know me uh, from the uh, BYKH organization uh, providing training. Uh, and today we have uh, people, we have Dave, and uh, we have Denon from Managed by States uh, from the United States. and. Uh, about this software, I would like to tell you about uh, a little more. Okay. Over to us. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Was that the handoff to us or? You ready yeah. for, for us to go? <laughs> I wasn't sure. Sorry, Kashif. Okay. Well, yeah. okay, good. Good. Well, then, uh, uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for joining us uh, today. I, I, it's evening for you. Uh, I think most of you are a little further around the planet than uh, we are. We're, uh, like Kashif said, we're in the States, we're in America, uh, in Florida on the East Coast. So, our Managed by Stats headquarters are uh, here in Florida. So it's about 11 a.m. for us. Uh, and I think it's around eight o'clock for you. Um, again, thanks for joining us. I'm Dave McDaniel. I'm the executive vice president. Uh, and we have Danon Coleman here, who is uh, gonna be showing you some of our tools today. He is uh, the vice president of media and events. That's right. um, managed by stats, just a quick little uh, history on us. We're about six years old. And uh, we started like uh, a number of the big companies that you're, you know, probably also familiar with out there, your Helium 10, your Jungle Scout, uh, Seller Labs. Um, a lot of those uh, were founded and were started the same way back around the what you might call the golden age um, of uh, Amazon selling. There was, you might even call it a gold rush. There was a, uh, a point about uh, five, six years ago where everybody was rushing to sell on Amazon. It was, um, on the one hand, easy to do. And then uh, on the other hand, it was very complicated to manage once you got past a few products, and especially if you were into multiple brands and selling in multiple marketplaces and so forth. So um, some of the sellers that were being very successful came up with solutions of their own. Uh, our CEO and um, founder, Philip Jepson, was one of those guys. And uh, so he created Managed by Stats to help him run his business, give him the, the insight and the overview that he needed to manage it and expand it. Was extremely successful. It was a handful of tools to start out with, mostly having to do with statistical analysis, data analytics, reporting, and that sort of thing. All the things you need to run and grow a business, um, and thus the name Managed by Stats. Uh, so he shared it with some friends, some mastermind groups that he was part of, everybody loved it, and of course it just grew from there. So now we have over 20 tools. Um, we also offer services, we have some consulting, um, 
we have, uh, you know, basically we're set up with training and we even have a university uh, to help Amazon sellers grow their business and run their business. The tools we're going to show you today are the uh, foundation of that, the MBS tools. And um, uh, when we're done, I think we're going to take a little, uh, a few questions, question and answer period. And then uh, we do have a, a sign up special as well uh, for anybody that will give you a link to that when we're done. If uh, you want to sign up, we're going to have these tools available for free for 30 days, no credit card required. You just sign up and you can use them and do everything that uh, we're going to show you today. So with that, I think we'll, we can switch over to the, unless you wanted to add anything, Dana? Nope. That, we'll switch that was, over to the, okay. That was a beautiful <laughs> intro. <laughs> beautiful. Good. Okay, cool. So we'll start off by showing you what our core products are, which is using graphs and statistics for analysis of your business. Um, now, uh, Kashif did tell us that many of you are looking for products that that help you find or looking for tools that help you find products for your business. And we will also get into that. So we'll run through this fairly quickly. We're, we're, we're going to run for about 10, maybe 15 minutes on showing you how uh, Managed by Stats works. We're going to cover it very briefly just so that you get an overall concept of how it works and what can be done. And we do have training videos on YouTube for to go further in depth on this. But uh, I was just telling Kashif that we will also be updating those videos because we're going to be updating our user interface and how it looks and operates and stuff like that. Right. So good. Let me get started uh, with the dashboard. This is where you're going to come every time that you log in to manage by stats. And what it gives you is basically a heads up display of how your company is is doing right now. So you can, all of these graphs, we call them dashlets but, uh, or uh, widgets, but all of these are fully customizable to find where you can put in your company or your brand or, or all the way down to a product Individual. or even SKU level. Yeah. yeah. And, and then set your intervals and stuff like that. Um, we, this, this is one of the tools that I use the most for my own Amazon account is because I can just look and go, okay, what's going on? Look at my KPIs, key performance indicators. My sessions are going up, but my conversion is going down, but my profits going up. Okay. So what, what's going on there? What do I know? I know that I've been advertising and sending people there and, uh, to my listing and not as many people are buying, but my profit's going up because of whatever reason, right? It gives um, you points to kind of look to zero in on. Exactly, you know, yeah. To do for your evaluation, yeah. And then you can set up, I mean, there's a lot of different dashlets that you can set up, right? And you can set up, I think it's up to 25 different dashboards. It's a lot. Yeah. As, as many as you would never need. Right. And you can just cycle through them. Like this one is just all graphs about um, for stat analysis. So that pretty much covers the dashboard. Um, what's next? The We have uh, a suite of tools called Catapult. That's okay. the name we gave it. But these are, and, and, and this is where you'll also find those product discovery tools that I think Kashif was talking about. That was something, uh, that's kind of how he came to us. He was using one of our tools called Retriever, which uh, helps you find new products to sell that's one of our free tools. Um, and uh, he was using that uh, and came to us off of that and, and wanted to get a little bit more info on the rest of the tools that we have. This suite of tools, Catapult, uh, has that along with other listing optimization tools as well. So I'll, I'll just go quickly down the tools. This is, uh, I think, what's going to be most interesting to many of you. So Finder allows you to look at an, a category-wide and find out what are the top selling products. And you can, you can, you know, uh, categorize them by whatever column that you want. So if you want certain ratings, price range, et cetera, and then you can also put in ranges. So you go, okay, how many reviews? Well, I, I want a minimum of a thousand reviews, but a maximum of say 5,000 reviews. So that way it cycles all the data so that you're only looking at the products that you want to see that are in the range. And, you know, you'd want it. So 
many of you are probably not going to be want want to be dealing in oversized, so you'd want to look at weight. Put in the length, the width, and height to make sure that your boxes are of existing selling products are not over a certain amount. Um, and then you can you can add columns, so you can do the images. So if you just want to be able to quickly look at what the images are that are of the top selling in the uh, parameters that you put in, you can do that. So that is Finder, Retriever. We've kind we that's a uh, a plugin for Google Chrome. And I think mine, oh, I need to do a product search. And that's so one go. of the tools that stands alone as well. Again, I, I, that was something that Kashif was using initially. Retriever does run independently of Managed by Stats. It's um, one of our tools that we offer for free that uh, we've got a lot, of, a lot of users of that tool out there. Um, again, designed to help you find the, the next hot product to sell. And as Dana and I'll show you here, there's a number of criteria that you can specify while looking, mm -hmm. you know, while, while doing that search. Yeah. So what you can do is essentially, so just like what you can in um, Finder, you can put in all your parameters and sort it on whatever columns you want. Now, these are products that are only showing up for the keyword that you put in there, which in this case is whiskey glasses. And the reason I'm using whiskey glasses, just so you know, is that one of our products that we use for training is a plastic like a whiskey. It's glass. actually right, right over, over there. there but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a plastic whiskey glass called Cruvina. So that's that's why I do that. So if I put in unbreakable, um, we'll probably come up at the top. There it is right there. Yeah. So, um, you know, Kashif can tell you all you need to know about using this tool, but it is free and any of you can download it. So there's that. Next up is Keyword Scout. So at this point, let me grab an ASIN real quick. Oh. This is the reverse ASIN lookup tool. This helps you find not only keywords for your use, but also keywords you can analyze competitors as well and see what they're doing. Yeah, so I've got it open right here. I just put in the the uh, ASIN for that. And these are the keywords and what those keywords search frequency rank are for each one that is in that listing that has been recognized. Um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with the reverse ASIN lookup if you're already selling on Amazon. This is how you use your, you use your competitors to determine what keywords should you be going after. And once again, it's all filterable and sortable. So, you know, if you want only the best keywords, let's say you're going to put together a an advertising campaign and you want to go very aggressive on it, you sort by the top ranking keywords and then you go, okay, I know I want to I want to go after those keywords because I want to be position 3, position 2, position 1 or whatever for those keywords. So, as you can see here, whiskey glasses, cocktail glasses, those are the top searched uh, for this type of product. All right, so that is Keyword Scout. Distiller, now that you've found your product, you've found your keywords for your product, you then start building your listing. And, oh no, sorry, that's Wordsmith. You take your keywords and you... Yeah, Distiller yeah. Um, gives you a way to uh, filter out those uh, keywords and, and organize them. In, to be used in your listing. And then of course, the next tool after that is Wordsmith, which Wordsmith. is where you apply those and craft your listing. Because as you as you know, I'm not sure how experienced uh, all of you are in selling on Amazon. Some probably uh, are quite experienced. Some of you might just be starting out, but the listing is really your storefront. I mm -hmm. mean, that is, is very critical uh, when, I mean, obviously search results are number one. You wanna get people to your listing. Um, but once they're at your listing, then you need them to actually buy, right? And so that's what the listing is all about. It's your salesman, basically. So right. um, this, uh, the, this set of tools here is very uh, helpful, you know, in, in terms of getting that set so that it's like the best possible listing that it can be. Yeah. So once, once I'm not going to show you how to do all the filtering on this um, right now because that's a little bit involved. But once you've filtered it out, you then uh, proceed to Wordsmith. And this is where you actually start writing your listing, your title, your bullet points, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'll just choose something at random here. Let's 
I'm not sure if this is going to yeah. work. There we You're go. Okay, good. Screens. Yeah, there you go. All right. So now you start building your title and you check off the keywords that you've used. And that's not spelled right. Now you know when you go over a, a keyword that's in there, it highlights it in your title. So you can, and once again, you can uh, sort on whatever top keywords to the title, et cetera, that you want to use. Once you've got this done, you can actually just upload this straight to Amazon from there. And if, if you want to test a different title or something like that, you can actually, let's see if there are any saved ones. Yeah. So here's a couple of drafts, right? So I'll just, go and load that one. This is a different product, but this is somebody that created the listing. And what you can do is you can do versioning or AB testing. So if you want to test a different title, different bullet points, different description, whatever it is, you can create your initial one, your, your A, and then you can test a different one. And if you, and you know, by looking back at, let's just go there real quick at your dashboard if your if your sessions you let's say right. you do a new title you upload it and your sessions go crashing down well you know that you need to revert back to your prior listing version so that's that's where these tools really work well together right all right good so let's get into keywords tracker this is one of my favorite ones um and i'm i don't think there are any whoops we may not have examples in this yeah. demo account here but Let's see. But basically no. in those columns on the right, it will show you your rank day by day, uh, yep. where you rank numerically. And and there's color coding as well. Um, I know that, um, yeah, sadly, we need real data for yeah. this particular aspect of it. And, and in the demo, we don't have it. But um, yeah, that's what you'd, where you'd be able to see how you're ranking for each particular keyword and how you're doing. Yeah. So basically, on the left-hand side, this is going to be your ASIN. And in here, the search term, you... You know what keywords you're advertising on. You know what keywords you want your listing to show up for. So you put that that list of keywords in here. And then every day, we're going to do a search on one of our randomized servers across America. Do we, we might even have outside of America for... Well, yeah, we, we do in Europe yeah. and a few other places, yeah. So, and it's going to give you your, your numerical position on Amazon. So, you know, let's, let me go back here. If, if we were watching this product... We would have, and it doesn't, you can, it doesn't include sponsored ads. So there's four, eight, uh, basically 15th position, right? So on, on here, let's say it's that keyword, it's going to show uh, unbreakable whiskey glass. It's going to show 15 there. And because it's in the one position, one to 15, it's going to show up green. So that's another way where you can check uh, certain keywords that if you know you're advertising on them and they're always in a position and then suddenly they drop down into the yellow or the red, you can take a look and go, hey, what's going on here? Why, why, why is my position so low? You go, right. you look, oh, you're being outbid by your biggest competitor or something like that. Right. And now you need to change the bids. And you can also monitor your competitors if you want. You can include you yes. know, those keywords as well, the, those ASINs, I'm sorry. Um, for those keywords, and you could look at their ASINs and see how they're doing if, if you want to keep an eye on them as well. Yep. Launch Tracker, I'm not going to get into right now. Um, is that still in beta? Uh, no, Launch Tracker is working. Um, there's really, uh, that essentially is a monitoring tool for when you launch a product. So it's very useful for the time of product launch. We've cooperated with, uh, you know, obviously we have a lot of experience in house and we've, you know, collaborated with. Uh, a number of uh, coaches and other groups that have a lot of info on how to successfully launch a product and the things that you need to monitor. Uh, basically, your 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 temperature, your you know your speedometers, your dials. How are the various aspects of this launch going so that you can tweak them and get the most out of it? This tool helps you do that. So anytime you launch a product, um, this would be the the tool to use. Cool. Um, yeah. Change log is, you'll find this in the menu on, in several different places. And I think this is super, super important. This is where you can actually log changes that you've made on your advertising, on your pricing, your title, descriptions, whatever, whatever the change might be, you can log it here. And if I go back now and, whoops, back. 
and two statistics sales graphs. It might not. Okay, here's a change here. Yeah. PPC yeah. ranking campaign. So any changes that you put into the log are going to show up as a line here, and your note is going to show. So for instance, right now where I am, just I was went in there kind of quick. We've covered dashboards. This is now in profits and sales graphs. And what you can do is monitor all this data, and in every single graph, it's going to show that change. So let's look at quantity ordered, right? That's an easy graph to see. Changed, we went into PPC, rank. we did a PPC ranking campaign, boom, sales shot up, and then they've gone steadily up ever since. We know that was successful then, right? So it's up to you on how you want to manage your notes and stuff like that. Me personally, I we log any change that we make that's going to affect our sale, that might potentially affect our sales. So bid changes on... Well, bid changes actually we don't do, but let's say we changed the price, we ran out of inventory, right? So we had a crash in the statistics and we go, hey, put a note there, we ran out of inventory. Okay, good. Now we know it wasn't something that we changed in the title or something right. like that, right? right? So that's where the change log comes. It, it's, it's just another tool yeah. that helps with your the business analytics basically, which is again, that's kind of where Managed by Stat started and that. comes once you go past a few products. Uh, you can see we got a number of graphs on here. Uh, we have a number of sample products in this particular demo account, but as you're getting into dozens, even hundreds of products, the ability to go in and just quickly do something like see, you know, you're not going to remember that, but if you wrote it down and you right. go in and you look at, your, look at your graph and you see, okay, well, that's why it dipped because something happened on that day or whatever. It's just one more part of, you know, the set of tools that we have here that help you get that oversight because without that you're you're kind of just either trying to remember it all in your head or 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 just wondering you know what's happening so right. data analytics and that sort of thing are a big part of these core tools yeah that's that's what we're all about data analytics and being able to use that data to increase your business right all yeah. right what's next on the um next is advertising i'll just okay. uh talk about that quickly because yep. um that is something uh there's a couple of uh you know we're always evolving, right? I mean, as I mentioned, we started out with one or two tools. Now we're over 20. Um, we've got a great new supply chain tool uh, just about to be released in the next few weeks. Um, advertising is one that we, it's a tool within the system we've had for about a year now. Um, it allows you to do several things that you can't do in Seller Central. So that's its strong point at the moment. And we're about to roll out uh, some updates to that as well. We've just partnered with a, a company that has some great AI tools and mm -hmm. so forth. So we are, are about to evolve this particular tool to a, a whole new level. And of course, advertising is is really big. You all, you know, again, no matter what level you're at, you realize how important that is and how important that's become. So um, this is everything you can do in Seller Central. You can do it here in Managed by Stats. Plus, you can do things like set your target uh, at ACOS, which is your advertising cost of sales. Uh, you can automate bidding, so you don't have to go in and do that manually. The system will take care of it for you. Um, you can also do things like schedule uh, pauses and boosts, which is, is an amazingly helpful uh, feature if you've got times of day that maybe you want to reduce your bids or you just want to, you don't want to bid at all. You know that your sales and then like Dana showing you right here, this is a sales graph. So you can see then on a particular ASIN or a product, you know, whatever grouping you've set up there, you can see which times of day on which days your sales are the greatest. So if you are in one of those zones where you know your sales aren't that great anyway, and uh, you want to pause these, you can do that. So you can take control automatically by, you know, setting a few uh, parameters here of your advertising. Um, and so our advertising tool as it stands right now is everything you can do in Seller Central you can do here, plus some extra stuff that you can't do there. What's coming down the pike is, is going to be even more exciting. And, and there's really nothing to prelude on that right now. But, um, 
but that's our advertising. And anything that you do in here, you can upload from here directly to your account in, in Amazon. Right. It's a direct connection and yep. we're, and we're kind of going back and forth with the uh, ads information campaigns and so forth. Right. Um, and then kind of the last overall group that we wanted to uh, look at was just feedback and reviews, which uh, is something that was uh, a number of companies like ours that started off, you know, that five or six years ago, uh, started with this. In fact, there were some companies dedicated entirely to, you know, automating your customer emails uh, after sale to get, uh, get reviews, to get feedback and that sort of thing. And as we know, Amazon's uh, terms of service have evolved quite a bit and, and they evolve pretty regularly. Uh, currently, uh, there are a lot of restrictions on the kind of emails that you can send, but we do have a fully automated uh, customer response email system here to help you get feedbacks and reviews. And I think if you want to show them the review request, which you yeah, can that's, yeah. that's okay. it there. Yep. Good. So um, by now, everybody here should know that you can no longer send an email asking for a review. Um, you can, however, and I urge you to look at the Amazon terms of service, but you can send emails if a customer needs to know something about your product. So in this case, what I do, um, and, and I was uh, just telling Kashif earlier that I have uh, knives manufactured for me in Pakistan. So what I do is I, I've created a PDF that I then send out to anyone that buys a knife Here's your care instructions. Here's what to do if this or that happens. Well, I don't put that into, I, I do put that into the knife, but I also send it because one, that's another contact point to the customer. And two, it allows me to put a couple of other things in there. Hey, thank you for being a customer, so on and so forth. Um, now, what this is, is the review request. Now I, I checked this out and it could have changed recently because Amazon's always cha doing changes, but it was eight clicks to ask for a single product review on an order because you had to find the order, open the order, go into the order details, scroll down, click, yes, I want to ask for the review. And you have only a three to 30 day window to do that, right? Now you could hire a, a, a VA to handle that for you. And I don't know what that would cost, but it would cost something or you know, it's probably going to cost you more than $80, $90, $100 a month if you're doing that every day, or you just create the review request and you just, you specify how many days after they purchase that you want to send out the review request. And it goes, we have an API connection with Amazon. We're also on the Amazon developer council for third-party software. So all of this is above board. I, I've gotten that question a few uh, a few times. Yeah, this Everything, is an actual Amazon. Yeah. And this is an Amazon feature that mm -hmm. we automate. Yeah. Amazon doesn't automate it for you. You have to do it manually. And that's that's the VA or the virtual assistant or somebody that, that Dane is talking about, you know, paying somebody to go in and click a button yeah. on every order. Amazon provides this, but you have to do it manually. So we've right. given you a way to, to automate it. That's exactly. what we're doing here. So basically, once you save this, every order you get in the seven days it's going to send out that through the Amazon API and through their messenger center, send out a review request. And it's going to continue sending it out until it actually gets received by the customer. Because sometimes Amazon just drops stuff and, you know, at the end of the day they go, eh, eh, never mind, we're not going to send it out, stuff like that. But if it if if our system sees, hey, it wasn't actually sent, it's going to put it back in to make sure that it does get sent. And those are very effective, right? I mean, those, the very. Amazon. It's because it's coming from Amazon that the the uptake or the you know the the number of customers that actually do leave a review from this is is probably twice, you know, your normal form of requests and so forth. Yeah. So after Amazon put in the option to for. Amazon customers to not receive emails from third parties, basically anything that wasn't Amazon, you know, there was a significant drop in the amount of received emails asking for reviews. Right. So this goes directly through Amazon. So a hundred percent of your customers receive it. Right. So just by virtue of that, you're going to have an increase in reviews because I think something like 70%, 80%, depending on, on the, on the, uh, category, of customers uh, were unsubscribed, at least for me. That's my own statistic. Yeah, I, I made and, it up otherwise. And, <laughs> <laughs> and reviews, of course, I mean, we know how critical those are. Yes. They're, they're very important.
So, and then, in, of course, you can look at your hub. You can look at all your statistics and stuff like that. Um, cool. I think and that, I think that was, yeah, that's it for the tools. Again, we wanted to keep it tight. I think yeah. we were shooting for 15 minutes. We're already at 1130. 20, yeah, we've done 20. Um, so, uh, but that's, you know, those are the core tools. Again, as, as Dane has been clicking around, you've seen, obviously, a lot a lot of items in the menu there. Um and uh, you know it's it's a, it's a it's very robust, very fully featured. Um, we've got some great tutorials, how-to videos, and so forth within the tools themselves. Uh, again, we'll have a link here. I I think we posted one in the group, but um, if you want to take a look at them in more detail, you can do that uh, for free for 30 days. You don't have to put in a credit card or anything like that. You just would you know you sign up and you'll and you'll get full access. Um, and you know we do have additional things like we mentioned the retriever. Uh, I, I also mentioned that we're, you know, getting into consulting now. We're doing, um, we have some uh, PPC consulting options available as well. And, um, you know, one of those involves uh, hands-on management with experienced, uh, you know, with PPC experts. And they make you, they in turn make use of a very robust AI, uh, artificial intelligence system that helps them get some great results on the PPC. Um now, and, well, yeah, yeah. One of the things that we were talking about with Kashif is that uh, he said that a lot of you want to get um, certifications, not necessarily from a company like ours, but an actual uh, registered uh, school or university. So, if that's something that you're interested in, um, go ahead and comment on this live stream and say I'm interested in getting certified in certain things because. We have our own university called it's university.managedbysats.com where we've got a couple of courses there and we're doing more. But if you want to get actually certified in these things, let us know um, because we perhaps can yeah. start moving into that direction. It's actually, it's actually a good point because I mean, we, uh, yeah, we were, we talking about it. We brought it up as an idea before this call and uh, as with anything, you know, interest drives action, right? So uh, if we see that there's a lot of interest, then that's you know definitely yeah. something maybe so if you are that would be great to know if you if you're able to comment in there cool and, and then i think we wanted to take a few questions if there are any um otherwise uh thanks we, for being here yeah we <laughs> right thanks for having I know us we'd, we'd like to do another session with some detailed training is what we'd like to do and we'll set that up with kashif but um today we just wanted to show you the tools and you know, give you an idea of who we are yeah. and, uh, and what we're doing. And that we've been around the longest. <laughs> it's true. We have, we have, we're, we're like a family. We have, you know, some of us are over in Europe. Some of us are here in the States. Our headquarters is in Tampa, the Tampa Bay area in Florida. Um, but we are, uh, you know, very much a family. Uh, we haven't gone full, you know, gigantic corporate yet. There's, you know, uh, a lot of us with a lot of heart, a lot of a lot of uh, purpose. Yeah, and, it's, and it's a family lot of business. knowledge here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and and most of us have been selling a long time. My wife and I have been selling for eleven years. Uh, most actually, most of us have been selling seven years plus. Right. So, uh, Kashif, you are still muted. I saw. I saw. Looked like you were talking. There we go. Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's great. Uh, I'm really uh, surprised and um, really interesting in this software, uh, especially the part I have seen in uh, the bid uh, management, basically, where we can see the performance of our sales and we can mm -hmm. uh, boost our basically uh, marketing budget and where we can reduce our uh, marketing budget by seeing sales, which is very good. And right. uh, people, they are worried because uh, as you see, uh, uh, service providers they are looking for product they click on the sponsored products and uh, that's basically increasing budget of their uh, marketing and they're not getting sales so what happens uh, in this case in your software there is basically a management of sales uh, through budget wise basically we can boost our sales uh, uh, through a high budget when the sales basically is the performance is high yeah and so you can also here. Yeah, you can also uh, have a target ACOS. So uh, the bids will automatically go up and down to try and keep it targeted. Let's say it's uh, let's say it's twenty percent, right? You say yeah. I want you to target ACOS is twenty percent, and then it'll automatically adjust the bids up and down to keep it in that range. So that's you know, if you know what your profit margin is on something, you can keep it there. 
roughly. This is amazing. Yeah, perfect. This is this is amazing. This is what basically sellers they are looking for because mm -hmm. they are stoked. Uh, the main stage is basically is PPC marketing. So they right. launch the product, they invest it, they basically then look for the budget. Basically, the air cost is, it goes higher, and they are unable to control the, that unless they basically get. To, Good software, or they yeah. basically are skilled and uh, very good skill they have. That's but right. We have one question. We have one question from our basically uh, uh, users. I would like to share that. To, to check our competitor advertisement cost in order to plan a budget. Hmm. Good question. Yeah, we don't. We don't have a way. Unfortunately, we don't have a way. I say unfortunately. I don't would be. I don't know <laughs> how, how, yeah, how ethical that right? would be if we could do it. But yeah. um, in order to know that, we would have to be able to look into their Amazon account, which we can't do. So, um, yeah, we don't really know uh, what they're spending. We do have, you know, the ability to look at their keyword ranking and results. We can, you know, look at the keywords that they're using for their products. Anything we can see on the you know the that's the publicly, available. publicly available we can see that right yeah um but you can you can get a really good idea by implementing the your own campaign and coupling that with your conversion your kpis your conversions and sessions and all that kind of stuff and you know here, here's there's a few factors to consider too the better your listing is at selling to the customer for the keyword that they're looking for, the less you're going to spend in advertising. So even, even if we were able to estimate it, we could be totally off because Amazon might tell you that, hey, it's a dollar a click. But the reason it's a dollar a click and not 40 cents is because your images are terrible. You've only got two bullet points. There's only three letters in your title. You know that's what right. I mean? There's there's a lot of factors that's, that go into that. That's kind of the funny thing that, that we don't think about sometimes is that, I mean, obviously Amazon is in this to make money, right? Uh, we're in it to make money. Uh, they make money off of us. Uh, they are very interested in successful advertising. So, yeah. um, <laughs> well, they're very yeah. interested in successful selling. Spend. <laughs> That's right. Successful. On advertising. The advertising is one step towards the sell. Yeah. The sale. Yeah. But, but yeah, if, I mean, if you are converting and you're, you know, you're getting the sessions, you're, you're getting the, you know, people to like click through and you're getting the sale, uh, your advertising costs may actually be less. Um, than someone else who kind of stinks, you know, they've got a terrible yeah. listing or whatever. So yeah. there's so many, oh man, it's, it's so, that's why tools like this are so helpful is because there's so many, you know, formulas and the algorithms that Amazon uses um, to figure out who gets what bid and who gets shown what ad. And um, it, it's quite amazing. It's quite remarkable actually. Yeah. So, so the key, the key there would be um, make sure that your listings are extremely high quality, the best that you can possibly get them because that's going to help you in your advertising. Right. And then also yeah. driving off Amazon traffic is one of the most important things that you can do right now. And I, when I say driving off Amazon, I don't mean bad traffic. I mean, good traffic, qualified good traffic. traffic. Yeah. yeah. Another question we have uh, yes. from a user, which is very important about uh, the cost of the tools after 30 uh, days which you have offered as a free period so mm -hmm. they want to know basically what would be the price for uh, the regular uh, software basically yeah, yeah cool month. so so the price is 89.97 per month okay so we have 89.97 uh, us right yeah for the starter basically just uh, i want uh, you to tell them as well yeah so for starter um I've, I've actually forgotten the price. Twenty nine ninety seven. I think it's uh, twenty four ninety seven. I believe I yeah, actually don't have it up here either. But yeah. yeah. So yeah. for starter, just so you guys know, uh, for those of you that are not uh, highly experienced sellers, or you're just looking in to get into it, or you want to use the tools just to uh, find products to sell and get them ready to sell, that would be our starter package. Twenty twenty four ninety seven. Twenty four ninety seven. Yeah. Twenty four ninety seven. And that. And, it includes the catapult tools. Right. So uh, that was one of the main things. I went down almost every single, I went down every single tool inside of catapult. That's what starter is, is those catapult tools. Yeah. 
yeah. as far as statistical analysis and advertising, none of that's included because with starter, we're assuming that you're starting out in Amazon. Right. And we don't have a uh, trial period for starter, but um, again, all of those tools are in this elite. If you just, if you, if you use this 30 day free trial and you kind of focus on those catapult tools, you'll have an idea of what you'd be getting with starter. And, um, at the end of that time, again, you don't have to put in a credit card or anything. At the end of that time, you could just let that trial lapse and you could go sign up for a starter account. I mean, if, if you wanted to do it that way. Mm -hmm. So uh, to avoid the confusion, I would uh, like to clear it. That, that 30 days period is for elite account only. Right. Not for the yes. That's right. That's right. Yes. yes. Okay. Just yep. uh, making it clear. Yeah, that'd be all the tools and you get a chance to use all the tools. Um, all, most all of those tools we showed you are included as part of that $89.97. Um, there is an additional charge for the advertising tool of $40 a month if you use that, if you decide to use that. Um, but there is, of course, during the trial period, you can use it for free and uh, and see what you think of it. That's good. Cool. Yeah, it's good cool for the opportunity for sellers. They can yeah, buy yeah. the software and they will obviously... Uh, there are videos on their channel as well, so you can watch and learn more about this software. Yeah. Oh, good yeah, maybe we, if it's okay, maybe we could post our YouTube channel in the, in the group as yeah, well. That's right, so yeah. the people can link to go. it. Okay. That's yeah. Good. I don't, I don't have, oh yeah. Well, okay. We'll yeah. do that later. Yeah. You know, after the call. Um, and Kashif, I, I, after having done this, uh, gone through this, I, I saw that there was a lot of interest on the advertising. So, um, now, we actually did create an advertising course. Um, I um, I decided that we're going to go ahead and give your users a discount on our course. It's normally two forty nine, and uh, I meant to do seven. Should I share the screen? Uh, oh, wow. uh, uh, we'll, give you, we'll give you we'll give you the we'll give you the link info here. Um, right it's, now, Danon is uh, unbeknownst to me. He is uh, <laughs> hacking. <laughs> he's in there hacking prices off of the the PPC course. Uh, I didn't quite see what he was doing. Um, so yeah, I guess whatever final number he comes up with here, uh, and then that's going to be we'll 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 make that available for anybody who wants to take it. It's a full yeah. it's a full course of study from the beginning. You know the the fundamentals to the advanced you know, topics uh, of PPC, basically Amazon advertising, creating campaigns, creating mm -hmm. successful campaigns, knowing how it works, knowing how to how to set bids and that sort of thing. So, again, that's that's another kind of part of what we've been getting into is training, because our focus is helping Amazon. So we're only Amazon, Amazon sellers. That's our audience. So for the longest time, we had all these tools. And now we've begun to get into other areas like training with this university. Um, obviously, we do a lot of free training uh, every week, which uh, will give you the, the web page for our YouTube channel where you can find all that. Uh, this particular course is a lot more comprehensive. It is something we charge for. Uh, it's normally 250 US, but I think Danon's taking it down to 75. No, 75 off. 75 off. Okay. Yep. I see. Okay. I missed the off part. Yeah. So <laughs> that's, I mean, yeah. that's something that if somebody's interested, if interested, yeah, yeah, then if interested, we'll throw that up there too, so that you guys can have access to it. Yeah. Um, um, and then, uh, Kashif, I emailed you, uh, let's see, Amazon. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, good. So that's, that's in the comments there. That's for the PPC course. Um, but I, I would urge you to, before you even take that course, I would urge you to, um, Kashif, do you have the link? I emailed you the link, uh, for, uh, Amazon, uh, for the, uh, managed by stats sign up link. Yes. You have sent me. Yes. I got it. Yeah. So I, I would urge you all to go through that sign up link and, you know, go in, go into detail with managed by stats. It's extremely comprehensive. Um, and, and what you can do. And truly the, the management of your business can managed by stats can be what's solely used to manage your business and to get the information that you need to know in order to make the decisions you need to make to, to get your statistics right. That was 
that was really where it started was was to, to yeah, sort out that was the whole thing yeah. you know amazon had flat files and 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 csv files that's all they gave you in the beginning yeah, and yeah, that yeah. that that doesn't help you to see trends unless unless you're one of those people who can look at a spreadsheet and do that <laughs> i am not um, there are probably a handful that can do that yeah, yeah. um cool so yeah you know any questions any other questions Yes, this is the uh, that was the question basically we had, and uh, mostly because they are saying that uh, yes, they want to basically uh, learn more and uh, they will go towards certifications. Yeah, because they okay, uh, it recognize yeah their their qualifications and education. Yeah. Okay, great, good. good so then know. we'll we'll start discussing that and how we could yeah. you know, how how we could go down that route. Um, just so you all know, right now I have no idea if we can actually provide that. If we can though, uh, then then we'd be happy to. Yeah. That's Again, it's part of part of our evolution. Yeah. We're continuing to 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 you know add to what we offer, and that would be nice to offer. Yeah. If if it's something we can do. Yeah. So it's good to know that that there's interest. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we have, we have basically a lot of strength strength in uh, Pakistan, and people they are basically looking for the right uh, techniques and the right guidelines, so uh, which basically can uh, teach them. Uh, how to provide uh, uh, obviously services and how uh, the people they are doing business uh, online so how they can basically uh, automate uh, automate their data and mm -hmm. uh, like uh, as you said the amazon gives you only a flat file and nothing yeah. else have you noticed um and i i obviously a lot of people were already you know amazon sellers before the pakistan market opened on amazon but have you noticed yes. an increase in sellers now an increase in i mean just generally it's, are there more people getting interested now it's massive they basically are enrolling into uh, amazon and we are getting a uh, lots of people they are uh, coming for training and we are giving them training and uh, they wow. are basically they have started obviously yeah and but since amazon has announced pakistan into basically approved uh, seller list Mm -hmm. So uh, obviously there is uh, a lot of people and businesses they are coming as well. The manufacturers they are taking interest and they are coming online. Normal people mm -hmm. basically who are working, uh, they are coming on the service providing side. So if you will go to Fiverr, uh, like free freelancing platform, Upwork, yeah. you will find mostly Pakistanis. They are uh, there to provide service basically. Yeah. Nice. So, okay, very good. That's good to know. Okay. And I would like uh, uh, to manage my stats. Basically, they uh, give something like um, offer to our people who will do uh, certifications from manage by, manage by stats uh, in the right manner. And uh, like uh, people, they are outsourcing from America, England, Germany, the European countries. They are sourcing basically uh, from Pakistan uh, services. So, mm -hmm. uh, so those certi certified people, they can come into your list ah, and they can be mm -hmm. outsourced. This will be great opportunity for them because uh, if they are coming and they are getting training and they are learning. So they should be basically uh, getting work from uh, uh, reliable sources. Right. Well, that, that, that should be no yeah. problem at all. We already do have our training platform. Um, so, and I, I, I'm in charge of it. And, but I, I think that I can create uh, a certificate inside of it. So I, I don't think that would be a problem. And it, it's interesting at times, well, because we have, like I mentioned at the beginning, before we got on the call, Kashif, that we've, it's something we've been discussing internally. And it's kind of, this may be the thing that gets us off our butt, you know, <laughs> yeah. actually, you know, makes well, the yes. certification available. Yeah. Um, yeah the most important thing that like part of i said like certificate is a, a secondary thing mm -hmm. it becomes once a person is certified by managed by stats then the advantage is basically uh, the question will be what will be the next after this certification sure like mm -hmm. yeah so like you are there so there would be like something as, as i said outsourcing uh mm -hmm. her. so people they will be looking for uh, those people who are certified and mm -hmm. uh, they will be on your website uh, like uh, these people are certified and they are capable of uh, providing good services so they can right. be hired so this will basically engage a lot of people towards mm -hmm. uh, managed by stats uh, so absolutely i think yeah. this will be good that's very much okay. a win-win and that's good. also something we had talked about you know having a 
you know, almost a roster on the site that we would then yeah. promote. Of these are people so that if you are needing someone who knows managed by stats and can use it, here are some people you could turn yeah. to. So um, that's a great idea. It's a great idea, yeah, cool. Chief. Yeah. I like it. So we will discuss, and I will email you basically a proposal. Uh, so the, like I just discussed right now, and uh, the good thing for people of Pakistan managed by stats basically um, as uh, have introduced uh, themselves in Pakistan, and we will be having second session soon and technical right. basically in technical detail. So right. you will know every part basically we just introduced, you will see in the details and then how you can use this software in the right manner. So yes. uh, yeah, maybe maybe yeah. for your group, Kashif, between now and you know over the next few days or something, uh, if you can, especially the people that we're on today, um, if you can get from them maybe a subject or two they'd like to know more about, yeah, and and then we can then tailor something for for that's them based really, on yeah. that. Yeah, that's yeah, the, yeah. That's what I mean, yeah. Advertising is always a hot topic, and we have a lot of data about it. Uh, and we didn't okay. even go into our our advertising agency for people that are doing 20,000 and up. We can cover yeah, that true. at a different time, but true, yeah. Yeah. If, you, if you want. But um, yeah, so those of you that are still here, thank you, by, uh, everyone. Thank you for the group yeah. for being in here and listening to us. But uh, go ahead, please comment because I'll, I'll be on there later. Comment, what do you want us to cover next? Is it how to use Manage by Stats and the techniques that you can use Manage by Stats to determine to make decisions in business? Is it about advertising? Is it about statistical analysis overall? Um, you know, and or, or is it something Truth, totally different? Truly, whatever it is. I mean, yeah. as long as it's Amazon yeah. related, that's our expertise. Yeah. Don't ask us <laughs> about <laughs> eBay. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So or that's Walmart. Big, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you thank you very much, Dave well, and Dane and from Managed by Sets. Uh, it was really basically nice to see you guys and you spared your time for us and you introduced uh, really good techniques and uh, good software and good part of it basically we have seen. And uh, guys, thank you very much for you as well. You all basically came here and uh, uh, you were basically with us uh, throughout the session. And uh, we really have good news for you guys and in the second session I will uh, announce once basically we'll decide with the management as Dave and Dannon. So yeah. thank you very much, everyone. And uh, we would like to sign it off now. And uh, we'll see you again. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks.